Welcome back to the Ken Am Garage Guys. In this episode, I'm going to introduce you to our group build that's going on on the, what was the Model Car Podcast Facebook page that's been renamed, sorry, Model Cars and More, I believe is the current name of it. And Jason Rothgreb introduced the concept a few weeks ago, week, two weeks ago, something like that, of a Summer of the Rising Sun group build or Rising sun summer something like that regardless <laughs> like normal i end up calling it what i want to call it and hey it is what it is i've decided to go <clears throat> to join because i went i said i would if i could easily access the box in which this kit was sitting in in my sea can and well as you can see got it yay <laughs> and the rules of the uh Summer of the Rising Sun build off starts May 25, runs till Labor Day, I believe it is, something in that range. And it has to be either a Japanese subject or a kit by a Japanese manufacturer. I think I got both covered in one kit. Now, right here to the right of it is a second kit that I have graciously volunteered to build for in the name of Ken Nesbitt, as the poor fellow just doesn't have time to build anything lately, and it seems like I am currently building for two anyway, so. <laughs> Colors? Yeah, I'm glad you asked. Oh, and hey, check it out. Look who's helping. Grom! Yay! How you doing, bud? <laughs> okay. For the Mazda, blue reflex. It looks blue. It says blue. Looks more gray. Should be different on, a, on the little MX-5 or Miata. We'll call it what you want. Ooh, gravity colors. Something exotic from John, who normally uses hmm, scale finishes, scale finishes, or, you know, straight rattle can for stuff. And regardless, we have, uh, for the Honda NSX, we have Nouvelle Bleu. And it's a tri-color, tri-part, tri-part paint. You have a base, which is A, then the mid-coat, and then you add on something like that, the clear, later. Very, very cool it should be be interesting to see how it is i think we're going to i'm going to also pardon me the camera's moving around shaking because the cat has decided he wants to be part of the show isn't that right grom anyway looking out for showing for off other things i have sitting here is my beautiful little cyber orange ford bronco that is going to cams next week the capital area model show which is in fredericton new brunswick canada I'm hoping to get the 71 Boss 351 Mustang ready for the same show. Um, and, well, yeah, why not? <laughs> if I can convince the cat to get off my lap, and pardon the panning, pardon the garbage off in the background, but we're under a burn ban at the moment, so burning boxes, not really a thing to be doing. Regardless, sitting in the travel box, which I found, is... Stuff that I don't even remember really building. <laughs> this one I vaguely recall building. This would be the Revell Ford Expedition SSP with some fictional Jackson County Sheriff decals on it, custom made. Forget, I think I know who made them. I think they were made for me by uh, Zolly Holnicki. Hopefully I didn't assassinate how you sell it. How you say it, Jet? How you say it, Zolly? Not a lot of detail on the chassis that, but I did kind of go... A little bit of overboard with the custom decals. Sitting in the other boxes, this one sitting here on top, I really have no I, no memories of building it. Sorry, I'll try not to. 69 Dodge Charger Daytona with, as you can see, base level hubcaps on the car in, what is it, Q4, Q5, Seafoam Turquoise absolutely oh just stunning i knew i wanted to build it i i knew i had everything for it i vaguely recall having a discussion with mopar mike or mike mike linhart about the wheels i wanted to use the recall wheels he said no no do this or don't 